Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jovan Rapport and Konero Hampi. This is a game from the Chess Olympiad women's section, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Jovan Rapport had white pieces and she started with d4. Konero Hampi played knight to f6, knight to c3, d5, bishop to f4, a6, e3, e6, knight to f3. This queen's pawn game is a favorite opening of Badur Jobava. Black to move, Konero Hampi played c5. d takes on c5. Bishop to e2 is the most played move. d takes on c5, intending to play bishop to d3. Bishop takes on c5, bishop to d3, knight to c6, and Jovan Rapport castled king's side. Bishop to d6, opposing the bishop on f4. Rook to e1, black to move. Perhaps bishop takes bishop comes to mind. O e5, Konero Hampi played bishop to b8. e5 looks like an interesting move, but after bishop to g3, e4, fork doesn't work. Because of bishop takes on d6, and after queen takes on d6, bishop takes on e4. Knight takes on e4, knight takes on e4. The pawn on d5 is pinned. Back to our game. Bishop to b8. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Asking a question. Bishop to h4, black to move. Should black play g5 or not? Would you? Konero Hampi did. Usually, when people play g5 like this, they don't intend to castle a king's side. Bishop to g3, bishop takes on g3, h takes on g3, king to f8. No castling king's side. The plan is to push the h pawn and to use the rook and h file for the attack. How it will work? Why to move? Knight to d4. Let's take it back. Perhaps connecting rooks and after king to g7, e4 would give white a better chance. Back to our game. Knight to d4 was played. The knight was very important defender of the white king. e5. Knight takes on c6. b takes on c6. But this gave black a very nice center. e4. d4. Knight to a4. And now h5. Very bold plane. Queen to d2. Attacking the pawn on g5. How would you defend the pawn? What would you do? This is a very interesting moment of the game. Konero Hampi played h4. What a move. Why to move? Of course, first move that was considered was queen takes pawn on g5. But Johanna Rapport decided to play queen to b4 check. Let's take it back. If queen takes on g5, then rook to h5. And after queen to d2, h takes on g3, f takes on g3. And now black has a plan. Knight to g4, king to g7, and perhaps queen to h8. Back to our game. Because of that variation, Johanna Rapport played queen to b4, check. King to g7, queen to c5, forking two pawns. Which pawn to defend? What would you do? Konero Hampi played knight to d7. The pawn on e5 is more important. Queen takes on c6, rook to b8, white to move. Player with the white pieces was worried of rook to b4. So, a3 was played. h takes on g3, f takes on g3, knight to f6, 
Y to move. Bishop to E2. Bishop to C4. Then a knight to G4. So we have bishop to E2. Preventing knight to G4. Bishop to B7. Attacking the queen. Queen to C4. Knight takes an E4. Bishop to F3. Bishop to D5. What a pressure by Kuneru Hampi. Queen to E2. Black to move. What would you do? What is the best move for black in this position? Black. Play the move when white resigned. And the move is rook to h1 check. You want a report resigned in view of this continuation. King takes rook. And then knight takes pawn on g3 check. Winning the queen. After g5 pawn push at move 11, there was an illusion that the black king may not be safe. Do you agree? But black controlled the center, which added to the security of the black king. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.